Hey guys, uh, this is DFS Chan um, coming to you to talk about tonight's uh, LOL DFS slate, March 20th. That's another five game slate. So, and we, ha we don't have as many um, of these five game, four game slates uh, because really, I mean, we're coming to the end. Um, we're approaching the end of the spring split, both in the LCK and LPL. So yeah, I mean, let's, let's kind of cherish what we've had so far. And, you know, thankfully, unfortunately, they haven't had to cancel many games uh, due to COVID cases, uh, you know, rising over there in their countries, respectively. So, yeah, I mean, we're kind of fortunate to kind of have this keep going and hopefully, yeah, we, we keep keep it going. Um, this this split is very, in, uh, this uh, slate is very interesting, in my opinion, because there are a lot of uh, playoff implications. So, yeah, let's dive in. So let's dive into the Korean matchups first, because um, actually today their matchups will start earlier today. I believe um, one is starting at 2 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, the first matchup between Kwangdong Freaks versus Lev Sandbox. Um, they made the games a little bit earlier today because of the anticipated tiebreakers that could potentially happen for the last spot in the playoffs in the LCK. Um, so yeah, let's look at that. So Kwangdong Freaks is a big favorite at minus 350 against Lift Sandbox. Um, the kills total over under is set at 23, but I fully expect to, this to be a more, much more bloody matchup than that. Um, Lift Sandbox actually has been playing pretty bloody. Um, Lift Sandbox does not hate, they're out of the playoffs. Um, Lift Sandbox, uh, you know, they are, they've just been <laughs> heads on, they're always engaging, engaging in team fights the last three games or so, um, you know, after they, you know, were, hey, they have been eliminated from, from the playoffs consideration. So they've really been really good for DFS purposes, um, I guess their opponents rather. Um, if you play their opponents more, more recently, you would have made money because Sandbox just threw a lot of bodies, has been throwing a lot of bodies against their opponents. So I fully expect the same to happen here against Kwangdong Freaks. And on the other hand, Kwangdong Freaks really, really need this game to make the playoffs. So I want to show you here, this is the current standings for the LCK. And as you can see, only two teams are alive for that last spot. So six teams total make uh, to the playoffs. And there's the last spot up for grabs between Kwangdong Freaks and KT Roaster. And KT Roaster played all their games um, for the split. So really up to Kwangdong Freaks to decide. Um, they, they, they're, you know, basically their fate is in their control today by winning the series against Lyft Sandbox. Um, they can make the playoffs, be, you know, clinch that last spot in the playoffs. But if they lose, then there's going to be a tiebreaker between Kwangdong Freaks and KT Roaster later in the day. But yeah, so I, I fully expect Kwangdong Freaks to win here um, because, I mean, because of what's at stake. I like Kwangdong Freaks to, uh, you know, beat up on Lip Sandbox. And I want to show you um, the roster comparison. So let's look at that. Um, I know Lip Sandbox, like I said, has been throwing a lot of bodies. Um, and that's been mostly the closer, Kroko, and Dove, like the, the top half of the map that have been doing that. Um, so I fully expect Keen, who's been playing well, and Faith, who's been playing well. Um, LM, I'm not quite sure, but I just feel like I know um, Teddy and Hoyt will dominate that bottom duo uh, in Ice and Kale. And there's a good chance that Ice might get subbed out today because of this is the last last matchup. Um, so we'll see what happens there in the bottom lane. There, might, there is some uh, substitute uh, um, risk there. But at the end of the day, I just think um, Guangdong Freak should win this because of what, what's at stake. They have to win this, basically. Uh, to be able to make to the playoffs. But, you know, like I said, Sandbox has just been engaging in team fights a lot. So really there's a decent chance that Sandbox could, um, you know, win one of those one or two team fights like that um, and then kind of snowball from there. Um, so there is a good chance of doing that. But at the end of the day, I think this is a good LCK matchup to target, especially between the two. Uh, LCK matchups there are today. Um, I, do, I think this is definitely going to be the more bloody matchup um, because of Live Sandbox. Um, 
Uh, I think T1 and DRX in, in the second matchup in the LCK, I think that's going to be a much, much slower matchup in my opinion, even though even though the kills toll over under indicates otherwise, I think just because of what it's at stake and because of what how uh, Left Sandbox has been playing more recently, I, I just think this is going to be a more bloody matchup in my opinion. And then the second matchup, like I said, it's between T1 and DRX. So both teams actually need this win for different reasons, not as um, dire reasons as Guangdong Freaks is of making the playoffs, but T1 um, for their winning streak, basically. They're, you know, they're on a 17-game winning streak. That is insane. Um, I know that LCK has been a little weaker this year compared to previous years, but still uh, T1 has been, um, you know, a seven, going 17-0 and is very hard no matter what region you're in. Um, so I uh, props to them and yeah, they're going for that undefeated record. So they have a lot at stake. Um, I fully expect them to win as well um, because, you know, I think this, this is going for that accomplishment here. Um, and then DRX is going for that better seating, I think. Um, so, you know, I think DRX, uh, you know, they're in the third spot right now. And if they win, I mean, they're going to be staying in that third spot. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Um, but I don't know if, if that's going to matter to DRX a lot or not, but we'll see what happens there. Um, but DRX is, I mean, their roster is good enough to be able to pull off an upset, um, but I don't know if they will. I mean, given that they were willing to experiment in the last game by starting their backup AD carry, Taeyoon, over Death. I just feel like they don't really care about seeding that much as long as they clinch the playoffs. So here, as you can see, T1 and Gen G are the ones that already got the buy, um, as you know. And then the rest of them are going to be playing against each other between three and six seed and then the fourth and fifth seed. So let's look at that again, three and six, what that would look like. Um, if you get the number three seed, you're going to be playing against either Kwangdong Freaks or KT Rolster, right? Um, Unless, let's see, if Kwangdong Freaks wins, 8 and 10, they will have a better game. Yeah, I think DRX would be playing if Kwangdong. I mean, I don't know if that matters a lot because I think, I think Breon and Kwangdong Freaks are about the same. Um, I don't think that really seeding, seeding that matters that much. Um, anyway. So I, I just feel like T1 has a lot more to play for compared to DRX's motivation. Um, so I, I just feel like T1's going to have a lot to play for here to be able to win this matchup. I mean, I, I, and also just from the, based on the eye, eye test, T1 obviously has a lot more win conditions uh, compared to DRX's. Um, here, obviously, uh, you know, in the top lane, Zeus, uh, I think Zeus and King in, it's probably a little bit of wash, but Zeus has been playing much better lately. Um, so I like Zeus here. And then Owner over Piosic, obviously. Um, Owner has been lights out, and I think he's going to finish the season the split very strong. And then Faker over Zika, actually. Zika is probably the weakest, in my opinion, in more recent matches. Um, I, like, I like Faker over Zika. And then in the bottom lane, Death has been good. Um, Barrel has been good, but Guma Yushi and Karia has been the best bottom duo, in my opinion, in the LCK. Um, so I just feel like in every single lane, I, th I think T1 has an advantage um, there to, to be able to pull this off in the series. For JPP purposes, like I said, I think I like, I like, last thing I'll say about the LCK matchup is that, like I said, I, I like this first matchup better in terms of kill upside. So I would play one of these two teams and then T1 probably for cash. I think T1's probably gonna end up winning to go for that undefeated um, split record. So um, DRX, I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna have a lot. I mean, even if they win, T1 is the kind of team that does not give up a lot of bets um, in, the loss, in losses. So I don't know if I'll play any DRX tonight. So we'll see. And then in China, it's a three-game uh, slate for China, uh, three-game, three-gamer um, in, in LC, uh, LPL. Uh, BLG is a huge favorite over LGD. Um, so I do want to show you some playoff implications for the LPL as well. Um, these teams, uh, one through nine, um, Victory 5, RNG, Weibo Gaming, Top Esports, JD Gaming, LNG, EDG, BLG, and Rare Atom have all clinched the playoffs. 
And then these teams in yellow here between, uh, or uh, like anyone's legend, Ultra Prime, Invictus Gaming, LGD, Team WE, and Thunder Talk have all been eliminated from the playoffs contention. So really right now, FPX and OMG are the only ones alive um, for that last spot in the 10th spot. So um, I think um, for what it's worth, that's, yeah, that's what's at stake uh, tonight for these teams. So BLG, LGD, so BLG have already clinched the playoffs and then they're playing against LGD who's been really bad um, this season. So I fully expect BLG to win and BLG um, has been kind of inconsistent as well. They've been starting Zalco, they've been starting Uzi like back and forth, um, Uzi in the last couple of series, but then Zalco starting again today. Um, but I actually like Zalco better. I feel like their team was better when Zalco was playing. Um, I think Uzi needed some time to gel with his teammates and such, but I just feel like BLG was a lot better, looked a lot better to me when Donko was starting. It's just that I don't think the 80 carry was the reason why they were losing games. Really, it was the top half of the map, in my opinion, that was losing the game for me. Um, Freeze and Weiwei were the problems, in my opinion. So, um, but given that uh, they're also going up against LGD, who is starting Kui today in jungle you know how i feel about shadow shadow is a much a better jungler than queen in my opinion shadow was not the reason why lgd was losing um and then in the in the mid lane they are also starting jay uh, i don't really like jay i don't really like kui um just given their roster uh, i like pretty much like shadow so i i fully expect blg to win here blg i feel like they have to win this one to kind of get their momentum going because, I mean, like I said, they've been so inconsistent in the last uh, four or five matches, I would say. So I think this is like a get right spot for BLG to kind of get their team mojo going. And like I said, in every single lane matchup, I think, I mean, breathe over Fearness, maybe. Fearness has been playing pretty well. So I think that's more of a wash compared to any other uh, any other position. I mean, way, way over Kui, I think. Kui is kind of kind of unproven. I mean, he's played here and there throughout the splits uh, this year and last year, but he is not as good as Shadow. And Fofo over Jay, definitely, and Doggo and Crisp over Eric and Jin Zhao, in my opinion. So yeah, for what it's worth, um, I think LGD has also been giving up a lot of deaths. Um, they have a fast CKPM. So actually this is a very good matchup to target um, for GPP purposes. I think if you, I guess if you want to take a chance with Kui, and I mean, if Kui has like a game of his life, right, that could translate into LGD scoring the highest in, in the LPL today uh, because of their high CKPM. Um, but I just feel like BLG is going to take care of business. I know they won that last series against Ultra Prime, but um, LGD has been struggling a lot as well. Um, I know BLG has lost four games in a row. Like, and like I said, I think Uzi was starting uh, at least half of those. Um, and I didn't like that. I mean, I don't, like I said, 80 carry wasn't the position uh, problem. Really, it was the top half in my opinion, but I just feel like this is a get right spot for BLG. And they kind of have to win. I mean, to cut, kind of maintain the seed um, here in the eighth spot. So I, I like BLG tonight. Um, but like I said, I think just given... The high combined kills per minute and the high kill upside in this matchup, LGD could be in, uh, could be considered for GBP uh, play, I think. All right, the next matchup is between the shitty teams, Anyone's Legend versus Team WE. I want to show you where they're at um, in the understandings. So here, like I said, Anyone's Legend um, is in the 12th spot, and they're the last one that got eliminated. Uh, in the playoff hunt and then team we has been one of the worst teams in the lpl so um but you know let's see who they're starting here um because we starting beishang and cga again um and they looked really horrible in the last time out um and then anyone's legend is starting xiao hao and forge yeah just so the same people really i mean not not many changes there um so let's look at who they have played and how they have fared in their last matches, uh, respectively. So top esports beat anyone's legend two to zero, but top esports has been playing well. So 
And then Anyone's Legend has beat EDG and IG, um, and they lost to JDG two to one and uh, to the best in a, in the best of three. And then Team WE has been beating Planks a little better lately, beating RNG and beating IG as well. But then they lost to Thunder Talk. So I just feel like this is a very interesting one. Um, Give it uh, depending on what I see from the combined kills per minute, which I'll look at after you know talking about all the games. Um, and I may consider playing Team WE, but I just felt like based on my eye test, anyone's legend has been playing a little better, um, and that's why they're high up higher up in the standings. But really, I think this can go any uh, either way. Um, I think it kind of comes down to, in my opinion, in the jungle. I know Beishang has been playing well, but I just feel like Xiao Hao has been as well, and Forge versus CA is probably going to be what, what's going to decide, and I think, in my opinion. Um, I just don't have a good grasp of between that two. Um, I think but they're both kind of bad, and <laughs> um, so I think as long as whoever, like, like makes uh, fewer mistakes in my opinion is going gonna, is gonna to win, win that matchup, I think, um, because they're not, they, neither of them has a high, uh, like, very high kill participation percentage, if you look at it, which I'll show you after this, but um, I just feel like Anyone's legend has been playing a tiny tad bit better than any uh, team WE, in my opinion, overall throughout the split. So let's look at, I mean, I think anyone's legend is going to win, but I think team WE is definitely in play. And I think this could turn out to be a bloody matchup, um, just given that neither, neither team has a lot to play for. But I think neither team also feels like they have a good chance to win against the other team. So, you know, I, I think that's very important. So I'll come back to that matchup. Um, and then the next matchup is, last matchup is JDG versus Weibo Gaming. This is a very interesting one because both teams are, you know, they've clinched the playoff spot, um, but JDG is actually in the uh, driver's seat, in my opinion, um, over LNG because of the um, better, uh, you know, games, uh, more games won, basically. Um, and they've, they've been on a more, a hot, more of a hot streak compared to LNGs, in my opinion, um, because JDG has been really playing really well. I mean, I just feel like um, Weibo Gaming started really hot and then they kind of cooled down, but then JDG has been kind of up and down, up and down, and then they've kind of been going up more recently. Um, I know Yagao, and then the bottom lane is actually what has been kind of putting them over the hump, hope and missing, in my opinion, which I fully expect them to do the same. I, I'm just a little bit worried about 369 going up against the Shy. I think the Shy will dominate that lane, uh, that lane. But I fully expect Kanavi and Yagao to outplay SOFM and Angel. So I, I think JDG is going to win. I think that's probably going to be one uh, stance that I'm going to take, that JDG is going to win, um, because I know that a lot of people may play against, uh, may play Weibo Gaming here tonight. Um, but I just feel like JD Gaming has been much better form and much better uh, passing the eye test. And look at this matchup history. They, they've won five out of the last five and then six out of the last seven, um, whereas Weibo Gaming has been up and down. They've been losing. When they lose, they've been losing two to zero. Um, <clears throat> so I just feel like um, it can go either way. Um, definitely for sure. Weibo Gaming is talented enough um, to pull this off, but JD Gaming, based on the recent form, and based on the mid gap, I think Yagao has been playing really well and, and the bottom lane, I just feel like Hope and Missing, you know, will play, has been, have been playing much better compared to one thing and one. So I just feel like JD Gaming is going to win, in my opinion, as a favorite, but, you know, we'll see what happens. And then let's look at the kill upside real quick. I know it's a five game matchup, so it's pretty loaded. Um, so this video has been longer than usual, but I just want to make sure that I give you accurate um, data. So let's look at, so what all teams are there? BLG, LGD. Okay, BLG, LGD. So yeah, like I said, so combined kills per minute is very high, point, mm, like 0. 0.88 average for the whole split. But then, then more recently, look at this. I mean, they're still high. So 0. 0.88, 0. 0.89. Um, LGD is, like I said, has been playing fast. So I really like this matchup to target today, um, LGD versus BLG. Like I said, BLG is fully expected to win, but you know, just given the high CKPM, um, I think LGD could be in play if you are playing a lot of lineups. I would definitely have one or two lineups with LGD stacks in it, 
maybe long stack. I'm just given that it's going to be a high matchup. And then let's look at the next matchup, CKPM, Anyone's Legend versus uh, Team WE, both shitty teams. Could be a toilet bowl, but they've been playing fast as well, 0.83, not as fast as the other one. Um, but let's look at what they've been doing more recently, 0.81. So, yeah, I mean, I, I just feel like, like I said, this is not going to be as high kill upside compared to the first matchup between BLG and LGD. But this is, like I said, it's a toilet bowl. Both teams probably think that they have a chance to win against their, you know, the other team. So they could just, it's good turn out to be a bloody matchup. But at the same time, with ZA, I feel like the older the players are, the more likely they're not going to like engage in stupid team fights and kind of limit their kill upside, in my opinion, which kind of has happened with Team WE. Um, but, you know, I just feel like, uh, you know, 0.81 more recently on the mo most recent patch, CKPM. So, yeah, I mean, it has the potential to be bloody, but I don't think it will be as bloody as the first matchup. And then JD Gaming and Weibo Gaming. JD Gaming has been playing really fast overall uh, in the split. So as you, can, as you can see here, they've been playing 0.9. Well, that's, that's probably the fastest I think they have in the split amongst all the teams in the LPL. Um, but Weibo Gaming has been playing pretty slow, you see. So um, I think, let me look at the more recent. Yeah, 0.85. So I think this is going to be a fast matchup as well. JD Gaming has been playing really fast. Um, so yeah, I would definitely, I would definitely play JDG and uh, you know, in today's lineups, and then Weibo Gaming as well. Just I think their kill upside gets a little bump uh, <clears throat> because of the fact that they're playing as JDG, uh, JDG, and it's high uh, CKPM. So, and then yeah, like I said, and for LCK, I repeat that I like this KDF LSB matchup because because of the what that because of what is that what is at stake given the playoff implications. But yeah, today is going to be a very interesting five game matchup. I think all the teams are in play except for maybe that DRX uh, uh, matchup. Um, but I just like um, BLG um, to win that matchup. And then I like um, LGD for G deep GPP consideration, just given a tie combined kills per minute and given high kill upside um, if you are playing a lot of lineups. And then anyone's legend versus Team WE. I like anyone's legend to win. Um, slightly, I think Team WE can definitely pull this off as well. It's, it's more like a toilet bowl game. Uh, so I just feel like it can go either way, but it's not. I think, I think amongst all the three LPL matchups, I think that game might end up being the lowest in kills, in my opinion. I just feel like with VA and some older players, I think it's not going to go as crazy as people may, one may think. Um, I think it's going to be limited kill upside just because, like I said, each team thinks that they can beat the other team and they're going to actually stick to the game plan. And then JDG, I, I fully expect them to win over uh, WBG, but given the high kill upside, I think Weibo Gaming's, uh, you know, kill upside gets a little uh, nudge, up, 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 uh, gets, gets an uptick. So that's going to be interesting. And then LCK, I, I like Guangdong Freaks to win um, because of the playoff implications. They have to win this. Um, otherwise, they're going to be playing a, playing a tie, tiebreaker matchup uh, later today against KD, KT Rolster, I think. So they definitely need to win this. Um, and Sandbox, um, they've been throwing bodies a lot. <clears throat> so I like Guangdong Freaks' kill upside as well. Um, like I said, because of the tendencies that Sandbox really just, they just they're just ramming their heads um, every team fight. They could win a team fight or two, and then they could just snowball from there. So Sandbox could could end up winning it, winning it. So that could be a good deep GPP consideration, just like LGD. And then T1 DRX, T1 is going for that undefeated split. Um, amazing season split, I mean. Um, so I think T1 is fully expected to win. And DRX kill upside is very limited against T1 because T1 does not give up a lot of that. So anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys have any questions or if you just want to chat about League, let me know on Discord or on YouTube or on Twitter. So yeah, have a good one and hope you guys uh, like hit the like button or subscribe button at the bottom. Um, if you guys like the video, please uh, give me a thumbs up. Thanks everybody. Have a good one. Good luck.